Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't you met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, if you're coming back then welcome. In today's video I have this look for you right here, which I'm actually super, super happy with. I feel like I haven't done anything super creative in a while. So I was really excited to use my Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials palette again. I was planning to do a creative look with this using the bright colours, but it just took my sweet time getting there. But we are here, we've done it, and here you go. Here's another creative look using the palette because the first look I originally did with this palette was actually a neutral look which I will link down below and put a card up somewhere on the screen for you to go and check out after this video if you want to see kind of like a neutral look with this palette as well this palette is super beautiful and there's still a ton of other looks that I could do with this palette I kind of want to do an all blue look which will be really easy and simple to do let me know if there's any kind of co color combinations that you want me to do but it is still available I have checked on the Beauty Bay website and they do keep doing sneaky discounts of this palette so definitely Definitely keep an eye on it down below but yeah I went for kind of like a half cut crease opposite vibe with the pink with the blue it's all a bit very Barbie glam and I'm into it but yeah I actually did have fun filming this video it's been a little while since I have filmed properly I will kind of touch on it through the video a little bit I think and then mainly on the outro just to kind of my emotions towards content creation at the moment I just feel a bit strange <laughs> not bad not really a good way just kind of like floating I don't know. I will explain that later on in the video. Please let me know how you are. I hope you're all doing well, safe and sound. I hope you are good. I think I've, I think I've covered that, I think. Anyway, if you'd like to see how to create this makeup look right here, then please carry on watching. Before you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. Follow me on my social media pages. I'm Siobhan at Makeup Biz on everything. I would really appreciate it and it honestly does mean the absolute well to make my dreams happen and grow with you guys and build a community. I love it. I always notice your guys' comments when you comment regularly, even if I don't reply straight away. Way. I do notice I'm just a very inconsistent person but I'm getting there I'm trying <laughs> if you do want to contact me I'm probably easiest to contact via Twitter or Instagram DMs I'm quite active on those and I tend to reply quicker than I do to YouTube comments but I'm trying my best trying trying <laughs> anyway if you'd like to see this makeup look created on my face then please carry on watching so I've already primed my lid with the P. Louise base and I've done my brows. Today I use the Pink Honey Super Hold Brow Glue. I haven't got any other product through them. I kind of just like my brows fluffed up nowadays with a little product in them. So now just jump straight into the eyes. I'm taking the Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette. I did say I was going to do a, another look using this palette. It is still available. I did check before filming this video. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. I have done a full review on this palette so I'll go ahead and link that video down below where I did more of like a neutral look but today of course let's do a bright so I'm going to start off by taking the shade Amsterdam which is this really beautiful royal kind of blue shade right here where my pinky finger is and I'm going to take that on the outer portion of the crease I've already planned out this look in my head so I know exactly what I am doing my beloved morphe mirror broke so i don't have that as my hand mirror today so i'm just going to use a little compact so i'm taking the shade amsterdam on the peaches makeup pc 38 brush which is a really small dense kind of long pencil brush i'm just smoothing out any kind of creasage and i'm just going to dip into that amsterdam shade and i'm just going to start by packing this on the outer corner of the eye i was going to use tape but we've run out so i'm going to go freehand today and create more of like a blurred out edge so i'm just packing that on the outer corner and i'm going to do a look with kind of two sections of that cut crease so I'm just going to start by really packing that colour on and then just slowly kind of bring that into the crease just in like tapping motions to start and then I'm just going to wriggle my brush just to make sure the colour placement is really like on the lid. Little wiggling motion. This is a really intense dark blue. Almost has like a little bit of a purpley undertone to it actually. It's a little bit of like a hole in the outer corner of my eye. I'm not really too sure why it's doing that. It's really weird. 
Hopefully we can fix that when we blend. I don't know if you can see that, just in the middle here, it's like not picking up the colour as intensely. So I've packed the blue on there. I don't really know why it's gone a little bit patchy on the outer edge. I'm not really too sure about that, but um, I'm going to continue. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm basically cutting out this portion of the lid later anyway. The next shade that I'm going to take is this beautiful baby blue right here called Plot Twist. I'm going to take a little bit of that to blend out this dark blue. And I'm going to take it on a Peaches Makeup PC 47 brush, which is kind of like a fluffier version of the brush before. Let's load my brush up. Brush up, brush up, brush up. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm now just going to tap off the excess and just start by kind of tapping that on the edge it's gonna look messy to start but it will all come together i'm basically tapping on the edge of the dark blue and the kind of edge of the eye that doesn't have any other shadow on it and then i will go back and forwards to blend these two bluey type shades together i'm just gonna make sure that's really nice and tapped on there and it will fall down onto the blue but that's fine just want to make sure that's really nice and kind of well applied Then I'm just going to take the brush that had the dark blue with no kind of extra product to start and just start doing little circular motions into that lighter blue to blend them together. Kind of really concentrated little circular motions. Just went in with a little bit more product of the dark blue and I'm just blending that into the lighter blue. I'm now taking that lighter plot twist shade, tapping off the excess, and then basically doing the same thing. So I'm just merging the two shades together. You can definitely see that little hole, that's really weird. Why is it doing that? Maybe that part of skin is like dry or something? I don't know. It's really weird. I'm not too worried though because I'm just going to be getting rid of that shadow anyway, but that is really strange. The next shade that I'm going to take is this purpley burgundy shade right here called Slasher. And I'm going to pop that in the inner section of the crease. And I'm just taking that on a Morphe M456 brush, which is a skinny blending brush. And I'm just tapped off the excess and I'm just going to press this into the inner section of the crease and I will overlap that blue which should make like a purpley type colour. I was going to take a lighter pink but I feel like because this blue is so dark I need the inner corner to also be dark for the look I'm doing in my head. So that's what I'm doing. Wiggle that into the kind of deepest part of my crease. That shade went on really nicely. That will do for that colour. Then I'm going to take the shade Blend and Snap. I absolutely love this name and it makes me want to watch Legally Blonde. So I love it. It's this Barbie pink shade right here. And I am going to take that on a Morphe M506, which is like my favourite Morphe brush ever. It's so small and fluffy. I'm just going to load up my brush and I'm just going to start kind of doing the same, packing that on the edge of the kind of dark burgundy shade shade and doing little wiggly motions being a little bit careful when it gets to this area because even though the shades will go nicely together like purple blue and pink I don't want to start doing like big circular motions because that's going to make this section really muddy although it doesn't matter too much because I am going to be cutting the crease so ignore all this mess just tapping that in and just doing like little circular motions on the edge of that Kind of tap over the purple and the blue, get that in there. And then while we are here, I'm gonna take that burgundy burgundy shade, burgundy shade slashed and just go into the crease. And just slowly kind of build that into the lighter pink. And I might go back and fro a few times. <laughs> Okay, this looks a mess right now, but I'm going to cut the crease and magic will happen. Now I'm going to take a cotton bud and some micellar water. Just load it up and I'm just going to take off the excess water so it's not dripping all over my eye. And I'm just going to cut the crease. So look, that 
patch there is really bugging me and I don't know why it's done that. Maybe I didn't put enough primer on that bit of my eye, I'm not entirely sure, but like the other part of my eye it's gone absolutely fine. Really weird. So I'm just cutting the crease by taking the wet cotton bud and removing the shadow in the place that I want to put the shimmers. Pull that through the crease. So I'm going to take this quite high. And then I'm going to take the dry side and just clean that up. This looks so much better already. Like so. And of course, now I'm just going to fill in that blank space with the P. Louise base. Hopefully that will fix that weird kind of patchy outer edge. Maybe I didn't put enough primer down, that's really weird. So I'm just taking a little splodge of the P. Louise base, about that much if you can see it. On the Peaches Makeup PC40 brush, this brush is so good for cutting the crease. And I'm just going to start by tapping that on the middle just to get like the most amount of product and then working my way outwards. And then I'm just going to slowly kind of pull back from the crease. I like to kind of flatten my brush on my eye so the kind of outer part of the crease is really sharp. So where's this area of my eye that I find a little bit difficult and it makes my eyes go funny if I look at it for too long? It's really weird. So I want to do like a back to front opposite lid so blue shades in the inner corner pinkier shades on the outer corner so i'm going to take this beautiful mermaidy shimmery blue right here called mama tutorials right here if you can see that the shimmery baby blue and i'm going to pop that on the inner corner of the lid and i'm taking that on peaches makeup pc 52 brush i'm not going to wet the brush to start off with we'll see how we go got a really good amount of color on my brush which i always believe is a good sign Yes, oh my god, yes, so stunning. I think I might do like a all blue look soon. Not with blue lips, but a really blue, shimmery, summery eye with a glossy nude lip, big lashes. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add that to my list. Yeah, this shade is stunning. I don't need to wet my brush like at all, but I definitely could. Okay, that is just absolutely stunning. Like, look at that. So gorgeous. So I'm taking that halfway across the lid. Now on the outer corner, I'm going to take this beautiful pink colour, which actually looks like it has reflexive blue in it. I could be wrong. Which is this shimmery colour right here called Pride. Really, really pretty. This kind of looks like an eyeshadow topper. Hoping that it's not, but I'm going to pop this on the outer edge right up all in that blank space. And I'm taking one of the Morphe kind of limited edition brushes but it's just a flat shader brush okay i've got a good amount of color on there and i'm just gonna pack that on okay gorgeous and it's definitely got a little bit of like blue reflecting but it goes with the look really well i'm just gonna pack that in the blank space being really careful on the kind of edge of the crease the mama tutorials blue shade has a lot more like color payoff but this color is still gorgeous really like wet looking overlapping mama tutorials that's so pretty okay i'm just gonna go back to the blue and load this up on the lower lash line just kind of packing that on one of my lights has just blown and i don't know if it's flickering on camera but great we love it. Okay, I just had to turn my exposure right up because I was halfway through doing my liner and one of my studio light bulbs just blew. Luckily not in my face, I'm okay, just the bulb went out. So I already ordered one on Amazon, which hopefully should arrive soon, but I hope the lighting is okay from now on. I've got one light behind me, and behind the ring light, and then the ring light. Hopefully it's okay, fingers crossed, but very annoying. So let's just hope it continues to be decent lighting from here. Anyway, so I've now put my liquid liner on. I am now going to pop a little inner corner highlight on. I'm going to take the shade Ivy, which is this beautiful shimmery colour in the middle right here, which is super glittery. And I'm just going to pop that right on the inner corner. I think I'm going to wet my brush a little bit for this. And I'm just going to load up that inner corner. Don't be 
time. And now I'm going to give my lashes a quick curl. Lashes just got stuck to the eyelash curler then from the liner. And now I'm going to pop on some mascara. I'm taking the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. I'm going to be popping on some fairly big lashes. It doesn't really matter too much about the mascara, but I just felt like using this one today. I feel really like thrown off ever since that bold blue. <laughs> I'm now going to pop on some lashes and do the other eye. I'm taking these ones from Pound Lashes. They are the faux mink style in the style 4D possession. They are like super wispy and layered. So I'm going to go ahead, pop these on, do the other eye and we'll be right back. I am back with the other lash on, eyes done, loving this look. So now moving on to the face, I'm going to start off with the MUA Pro Base Primer Spray just to give my face a nice little refresh. For foundation, I'm going to take the Morphe 2 Hint of Pecan um, Skin Tint foundation -y thing. This is the light medium with neutral golden undertones. I'm going to pop this all over the skin with a beauty sponge. Now I'm going to put on a bit of concealer. This is the Vanilla Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced. Just pop it onto my chin. My chin is basically one giant spot at the moment. The forehead and then of course under the eyes. And then blend it out with the same sponge. Now I'm going to use a product that is new to me and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I have the shade dark medium to deep and I'm just going to do some light kind of cream contouring. I'm going to go just along my cheekbone and then also a little bit at the top of the forehead. Not too much because I think this is quite intense but I'm really excited to use this actually. So you just kind of squeeze it up. Oh, okay, it's got a little on thing. Ah. Oh, oops, I think it squeezed up too much. Here we go. Okay, that's literally all I'm going to do because I feel like this is going to be super intense. And I'm just going to blend that out with my favourite brush for blending out cream contour, which is the So Ava 110 Face Shape Brush. Blends out really nicely, like into the foundation. Yeah, I really like that. It's really nice to blend. I thought it would be like super intense and I went with too dark of a colour, but that actually is really nice. I'm now going to quickly set this into place with the MUA Pro Base Full Coverage Matte Press Powder in the shade 120. I'm just going to stamp this all into the skin. Now I'm going to do some very light contouring with the Nip and Fab Contour Kit. My lid has fallen off of this, um, so it's very well loved. I'm going to take this shade right here and just go over where you put that Charlotte Tilbury contour shade on this kind of contouring highlighting brush from Ink Show, which is super fluffy. I'm also going to take that under the jaw a little bit. And then whatever's left just kind of down my nose just to give it some shape. I'm now going to bronze up the skin with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. It's really nice and like buildable and it smells really good. Now to brighten up the face a little bit, I'm going to take the Beauty Bay Peachy Blush and just pop a little bit of this on to the kind of high point of my cheeks. Now I'm going to set all of this into place with the MUA Pro Base Fixing Spray. I have a little bit of this left, which is why I'm shaking it so much. So, 
I'm now back. I've just done my shift, so I've got to come back and finish this makeup look. So as you can tell, the eyes have been on for about five to six hours, which is amazing. So you can tell the makeup lasts. Now, after I've set my face, I'm going to pop on my highlighter. I have just touched up a little bit with like powder on my chin area. I'm going to be taking the Beam Highlighter from Beauty Bay. I absolutely love this highlighter. It works best with a damp brush, just because there's a little bit of glitter in it. Not too much, just I think it goes on better with a damp brush. I'm going to pop this onto the top of my cheekbone and the tip of my nose. And my highlighter brush has gone missing. Aha, found it. Such a stunning reflective highlighter. I'm now just going to pop a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. I'm taking the curl and length side from the Huda Beauty mascara. Now I'm going to line my lips with the Rude Cosmetics 2 for 1 lip liner and brush in the shade Morning After. That's the brush. So I'm just going to use this to line my lips. Okay, and then for lips, I'm going to take the Rude Cosmetics Magnificent Lip Crayon in the shade Nude. And this is the finished makeup look using the Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette. My second makeup look with the palette. I use the blues and the kind of pinky tones. I absolutely love this makeup look. Actually, this is something I think I would rock to a festival if we were to partake in those in the future with no virus in the picture. <laughs> God, I never thought in my days of YouTube that I would be referencing festivals that I don't know if will happen in the future because of a virus that's overtaken the world. This world is strange. <laughs> Late night thoughts. It's 2323, angel number, if you're into that. But yeah, and I absolutely love this makeup look. Just checking it out to make sure it's all still intact. The eyeshadow has lasted really well. The little issue I had with the blue on the, the blue, the blue shadow on this side didn't happen on the other where it went a little bit patchy. I think I just might have messed up my primer on the outside of my eye because it just wouldn't stick to that one spot of my eye for some reason but it worked completely fine on this side so not really too sure what happened there but I'm blaming it down to my priming slash eye and not the shadow itself but this isn't really a review video it's more so a another tutorial using the palette I will of course have linked my other tutorial using this palette down below if you want to go ahead and check that out let me know if there's any color combinations you want me to recreate using this palette and I will definitely get around to it but yeah I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and you may have picked up some tips and tricks along the way please let me know any video requests you want from me down in the description box below Low. I'm having a very weird moment with my content right now. I don't know if you've noticed or not. I haven't been the most consistent around here and that is because of a multitude of reasons, mental health issues going on, lockdown, like new sort of work life dynamic, sort of lack of motivation, wanting to switch things up as well. I don't know. It's all a bit strange at the moment, but just, ro just roll with me people. Okay, I mean, if you've made it this far throughout the video, then I applaud you anyway. But yeah, I don't really know what I want to do with my content at the moment. I don't know if it's because I feel like I haven't been doing enough. And because of that, I've got this sort of subconscious thing of me thinking that I should do something else instead. I don't know. I feel very strange about it all at the moment. I love makeup. Don't get me wrong. I love YouTube. Don't get me wrong. I just feel very um, blah at the moment. I think that's the best way to explain it. Maybe once here in England when the lockdown restrictions have lifted just a little bit so I can kind of go out the house, go to the gym, go to the shops and do semi kind of normal things. I might feel a little bit more motivated, I don't know, but we're here for a good time <laughs> and a long time. I don't know what I'm talking about but just roll with me guys, okay? I'm a work in progress, we all are. Anyway, enough of that ramble, I really hope you enjoyed. I just caught eye of myself in the viewfinder just talking to myself like an absolute weirdo. But I hope you're all well, safe and sound as per usual and that you are taking care of yourselves and your loved ones. You're not being too hard on yourself and you are making the most of every day. Make yourself a beautiful breakfast. Give your loved ones a cuddle. Use a really 
nice shower gel that for some reason you were saving for something even though that doesn't make sense just use the fancy shower gel anyway i'm gonna stop rambling because this is my siobhan late at night mood that comes out Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. It really does mean the absolute world to me and helps me out a lot. And I think that's pretty much it. Follow me on my social media pages. I'm Siobhan at Makeup Biz on everything. I'm going to try and be more consistent. Please have faith. <laughs> what am I doing on the internet? Okay, bye. Thank you so much for watching.